Independent Music Radio, WNRN. I'm Desiree Moses, live from In Your Ear Studios in Richmond. Thrilled to be joined by Shaky Graves. Yeah, it's nice to see you again. Nice to see you again, Alejandro. It's been a couple of years now. The last time we saw you, you had just released the record Can't Wake Up back in 2018. Oh, yeah. So the world's certainly a different place since the last time I saw you. Certainly. How you been? What have you been doing to keep busy? Oh, God. Uh, You know, I guess the nice part is that I haven't been keeping that busy uh, for the first time in a long time, at least... uh, you know, last year I got to actually uh, be at home and uh, deconstruct the garbage pile. It is my house because it's sort of like after tours, we'd go out and acquire all sorts of dumb stuff in the world. And then I would drag it back to my lair and sort of throw it in a pile. And then uh, last year I got to sift through it all. So that was really nice. That's nice. Yeah. No sourdough starters or anything like that. Yeah, we 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 definitely had our fair share of like... Uh, failed startup, uh, homemaking hippie stuff, you know, like we have a kombucha we had to throw away or whatever that my, my girlfriend made, but that was, uh, it was cute for a while. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I tried, um, tomato plants and I couldn't even keep those alive. So the jig was up pretty quickly. We did that. We got some tomatoes. We had one like jalapeno plant just go crazy. Like, uh, last week where it was like, we don't have anything. And then it was like, yeah, a hundred jalapenos. <laughs> like, we don't know what we're going to do with them. But. <laughs> well, I know one thing you've been doing, your debut album, Roll the Bones, is celebrating yeah. its 10th anniversary. Yeah. So you've done a really nice reissue. We'll talk all about that. But um, what do you want to get started with? Well, yeah, okay. So let's uh, <laughs> let's start with uh, some, some stuff. I guess it's kind of in the style of... Uh, the style of that record a little bit. This is our acoustic breakdown. Um, we're going to play a, a new song, something that we've uh, been writing since since I've seen you last. So this is the first time we're going we're gonna to pull this out and see how it goes. Mm-hmm. Love a debut on WNRN. Shaky yeah. Graves live. Okay, let's see. Let's do it. Blossom and bloom, brighten the room From Monday to Monday, from midnight to noon Far from the lights of the shore where the water's deep oh, There's a mystery It calls to me If this life is but a dream Let me sleep beneath the canopy Please don't wake me, please don't call Let me rest, yeah let me be Overgrown and evergreen Please don't catch me if I fall Let it all fade to black And there's no turning back No, there's no turning back Forget me not, forgive me if I go Another victim of the undertow The gift of God, the fruit my garden grows My heart skips right on cue Yeah, light is a feather, it calls out to you If this life is but a dream Then let me sleep beneath the canopy Please don't wake me, please don't call Let me rest, yeah let me be 
overgrown and evergreen Please don't catch me if I fall Let it all fade into black Shaky Graves live on WNRN, playing the National in Richmond tonight for a WNRN present show. Also playing a sold-out show at the Jefferson Theater in Charlottesville tomorrow night. Sun June opening up for both shows. Now, Shaky, that was a new one. Is there a name for that one yet? Yeah, that one's called Evergreen. Awesome. It was beautiful. Um, yeah. Allie, before we go any further, can you introduce who's with oh, you today? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> right here to my left with the world's tiniest uh, piano is uh, Mr. Taylor Craft. And the world's coolest t-shirt. And the world's coolest t-shirt. <laughs> This is, yeah, this is all we need. And then uh, this right here is Cameron Neal playing guitar. It's just a normal guitar. Awesome. Well, we're glad that you guys are joining us. Um, so on top of this new song, you've been working on some new stuff. You also just re-released your debut record, Roll right. the Bones, celebrating its 10th anniversary. Along with the re-release, there's a whole new LP of kind of bonus material. Totally. Um, so what's it been like to sort of revisit these songs and play this sort of stripped down version, you know, the Shaky Graves project right. has gone through a lot of fluctuations and changes in sound yeah. and growth and now kind of, what's it like getting back to basics? Well, <laughs> this is, I, uh, I guess um, I love to confuse on accident. For instance, this is not at all what the show will be like tonight. This is like <laughs> totally false advertising, but this is, this is definitely much more like how um, that first record was made because uh, you know, I it was just me and an acoustic guitar and the four track, and it took me about seven years to put together, um, just because it was sort of the cream at the top of me starting to experiment with recording and multi-tracking myself. So over the years, you know, after I put Roll the Bones out, I did that. Uh, I would do Shaky Graves Day every year. Where in 2012, I got like a proclamation for that year from the mayor. And then every year since then, I've had like a, th I ran away with the ball a little bit and, and threw a, a party and usually have a show. And then and this I is in your hometown of this Austin, is in my Texas, hometown, right? Yeah, of Austin. Yeah. And then uh, would release some unreleased material and then like give half the, the proceeds to charity. And it's just a great excuse to have like a birthday party for my alter ego. And, uh, <laughs> well, I think it's important <laughs> to note that you do those on Bandcamp as well. And Bandcamp is where you initially released roll the bones Correct, to yeah. begin with. Um, and, you know, the reason this is such a seminal record is the fact that it's kind of stayed at the top of the Bandcamp charts, however you want to call it, has been one of the most sold records on Bandcamp ever. Um, so was it important for you to have that consistency and sort of stick with the avenue that worked for you? Well, I mean, it couldn't make me happier that Bandcamp is a more ubiquitous thing and, and has definitely continued to um, continue to prosper and, and stay alive. I mean, it really... At that time, uh, it had kind of just started, and it was sort of the like death of MySpace, <laughs> which is like back when dinosaurs roamed the earth, and we would all like find bands on MySpace and R. stuff. R.I.P. Tom, and, was that yes. his Yeah, Your first I, friend. Is he dead? He could be. He, we could have walked by him today and been like, no one, no <laughs> one was. knows. Didn't know. He got just, out clean. He uh, did. He made it out. <laughs> he did, he did, he did. <laughs> no Oculus headgear, nothing like that. Um, but yeah, around that time, I found it, and it, it just seemed like the most reasonable way to be able to post a album um, online and it gave the option to do like pay what you want, which I thought was really great. So I left that record on there for 10 years for pay what you want model. And, uh, and then somebody who worked at Bandcamp found it and basically kind of put it on the front page one time. And then from there, it just sort of stayed in their ranking system and was like one of the top 10 folk records on there and to be fair i think a lot of people put out a, a lot of like electronic and experimental stuff on there so the my, i got my little corner of the world <laughs> it's like <laughs> folk albums on Bandcamp. so that was something that i just always um was pretty adamant about not touching and i i forcefully didn't want to repackage it or re-release it I, I i had done like a printing of it before but not really it wasn't on any other streaming platforms and the other thing was that Every year putting out unreleased material, I ended up finally putting out all of the like more polished B-sides that I had. So for right. this one, I had to go like deep into the 
vaults of embarrassment and <laughs> listen to myself like, you know, long hours of me. Um, yeah, demos and alternate takes on that that extra LP. Oh, they're crazy. So I am interested in the fact that, you know, a lot of times when you reissue mm -hmm. albums, there's remastering that goes into it and that sort of thing. Yeah. So by definition, this record was a bedroom record. Based, you know, you yeah. recorded it at home. So did you ch touch anything or alter anything? Absolutely and not. That's, yeah. no, it I didn't hear a difference. It would have turned into like digital dust. Right. You know, it would the, have lost the, its essence. I, right? I, I have no idea. I mean, like there's no master tape to these. Some of them were recorded on tape, but then... I, I didn't know what I was doing, which is kind of part of the charm of it to me. Um, and I was just kind of had like s software that I'd stolen off the internet and was just kind of pushing buttons and yeah. and just like bouncing MP3s into waves in the back and like, I mean, I, I, I don't even know if there is like a master recording. It's just whatever one was on a hard drive is kind of the one that's been on the album. And I feel like if I altered it too much, it would... Yeah, that that's not the point, you know. Yeah, exactly. Would lose what makes it special, the yeah. essence. I mean, I, yeah, maybe if like one day when I died, if someone cares enough, they can go back and try and reconstruct it in, in some <laughs> weird way. But that's I'm not going to do that. No, <laughs> <way>. <laughs> no, 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 no. Shaky Grave live on WNRN, playing the National in Richmond this evening for a WNRN present show and a sold out show at the Jefferson Theater in Charlottesville tomorrow night. What would you like to play next? Um, well, we'll do another new one. How about that? Because. This is, uh, this is what's going on. Figure, why not? This is kind of like one of the first sessions we've gotten to do, period, like this, so. it's Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to be back in person and yeah. not on Zoom. Yeah. God, yeah, Zoom, right? Who knew? I never Ugh. want to log into Zoom again. Somebody if I can help was it. like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hope I never go back there. The Zoomosphere. <laughs> um, all right, this song is called uh, Ready or Not, and, uh, it's kind of about all of that, I guess. <laughs> Ready or not Here comes the weekend You'll be standing around Talking a lot I don't Myself, I'll be alright. I hope it is true. I'm already out for the night. Why not make it too? Yes, so ready or not. Yeah, here comes the wedding. You wear the white. Say why not What are we forgetting To tell ourselves we'll be alright I hope that it's true You're already one of a kind Why not make it two It's all so unusual Saying we'll all be alright When you know it ain't true It's only a matter of time What else can we do? We're already telling a lie Why not make it too?
Shaky Graves live on WNRN, playing the National in Richmond tonight for a WNRN Presents show. A new track, I'm assuming, Ready or Not? Yeah, that's what we're calling it. All right, it. Yeah. very beautiful. We did this one kind of the same way, too. It was fun. Uh, we, we started playing shows maybe about three months ago, and one of our first shows out of the gate was Red Rocks, having put together like a new band and stuff. It was nice. It was amazing, but it was also it was like learning to ride a bicycle on the biggest, craziest stage. So just throw you right into the pool, like, sink or swim. Hey, 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 you know? <laughs> yeah. uh, but then afterwards, we all kind of hung around, and Cam has some family, in, uh, or has a family cabin mm-hmm. in Colorado. And then um, I hadn't been in the mountains in a really long time, and so stuck around and went down to Santa Fe, and I was like, I'm going to find a cassette four-track, like the, like the good old days, you know, and like... <laughs> scoured the city and basically hung out for a while and ended up getting a cassette four track after all of these like misadventures and then had a my dad had a buddy who had a place up in the mountains and him and his fiance came and hung out and we uh we sat around and recorded that song Mm -hmm. in the classic form it was it's very classic yeah 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 Felt good. Artists but like getting, getting back away to, to the what cabin. We were always it was doing. nice. Yeah, yeah. it's like, it great. Nice. And then now you know we, we still play like weird, loud, psychedelic rock shows at night. So you know the best of both. The best sports. of all yeah, worlds. That's what you want, right? mm-hmm. Yeah. How's it been being back on the road? Because you're just a few shows into the leg of this tour. Yeah. Well, I kind of consider it all a little bit the same. We did about a month. Uh, a couple weeks back, and then this is like two weeks on, two weeks off, and then that'll be kind of it for the rest of the year. Um, but it's been great. It's been really, really. Some of it's really familiar and some of it's like very strange and every city's totally different, you know, as far as masks and people being like, uh, you know, a little freaked out or just like everything's cool. Or, yeah, exactly. You know, it's, it's a trip. It really is. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned just writing that song, you know, coming off that Red Rock show. Do you find that you're more inspired to write when you're on tour? No. Or did you write a lot when you were at home? N- no. Yeah. I mean, I don't really write... Uh, on tour it's a lot harder for me to do that uh, the the time that i write the best is if i just have a void of anything so that was kind of my goal of of going up and you know it's the classic like i'll get a cabin in the woods and write the great american novel which like has never happened either but that's yeah. definitely the most productive I'm gonna care time about this. right <laughs> yeah exactly but it's uh, it's been great i mean a lot of what i would like to experiment with these days is like writing with you know other people and friends and um, cause I've done a fair amount of sitting around by myself and, and, uh, crafting stuff, which I love doing, but, uh, me and these dudes and, and, uh, the rest of the band that I'm playing with right now, we did a big, long, like three, five, how many weeks collectively? Eventually it was, it was probably over like, a month. Yeah, it was over a month collectively. Um, towards the end of the pandemic, we all met up at a, a studio in Denton that uh, I've recorded stuff at before, a place called Echo Lab, and we basically just had a big open-ended recording fiesta and just made as much stuff as we could and came out with like a, you know, probably a hundred different recordings of all sorts of stuff, including versions of these songs. And so what's been fun is trying to actually land that airplane because <laughs> it's like, okay, just finish these songs and put them out. So. The goal uh, upcoming is to continue to is is to release a ton of music, which we have made since. That's been really nice. Well, we've been excited to hear some of the new stuff today. Yeah, Why don't you get into another one? What do you guys want to finish with? Um, we'll go back back to a, 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 a sweeter, a, older time when I saw you last. Um, we're gonna play a song called "Kids These Days," which was the first song that came off of, of, of "Can't Wake Up." But like a, a, a different version. I'll play an alternate yeah. version. Yeah, oh, man. Old version. Kids, what do they know? <laughs> a lot. They know a lot. Dude, <laughs> so we're <Yeah>. so old. <laughs> <laughs> Chosen one, now you shake 
shake your head and say Kids these days Shaky Graves live on WNRN from In Your Ears Studios in Richmond. Kids These Days off the 2018 release, Can't Wake Up. Thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks. Shaky Graves playing tonight at the National in Richmond for a WNRN Presents show with Sun June. And also playing a sold out show tomorrow night at the Jefferson Theater in Charlottesville. Big thanks to everybody at In Your Ear. Thanks to Paul and Andrea. Thanks to Billy and Charlie on video.